Hey everyone, it's Andy here at the Maker Lab at Micro Center, and today we're going to be taking this stock Ender 3 Pro and upgrading a few of the components to help with its overall performance. Stay tuned. First things first, let's get this printer built. It's pretty straightforward using the included instructions in the box. For the five upgrades that we're going to be doing today, we're going to tackle a couple of different things. One, we're going to be adding a 0.6 millimeter nozzle from our friends at Micro Swiss. We're going to be upgrading the tubing between the extruder motor and the hot end to the Capricorn PTFE tubing. We're going to be upgrading the springs on the underside of the bed to give it a little bit more rigidity. We're also going to be switching out the extruder mechanism to an all-metal extruder mechanism. And then finally, we're going to be using this Wham Bam flexible build system to add a PEI bed to the printer. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start with the nozzle first. Start by preheating the nozzle to 200 degrees Celsius so that any filament in the nozzle currently is malleable. Use one of the included Allen wrenches that came with the printer to loosen the two pan head screws that hold the fan shroud to the X carriage. Remove the silicon sock using the wrench you're currently holding. Then take the included wrench that fits in the existing nozzle and untighten. Remember, the nozzle is hot and the heat may translate through the wrench, so work somewhat quickly. Once that is out, grab your new nozzle and get it started by hand. Again, the heat can transfer quickly, so you don't want to cross-thread it. Just be careful. In putting the new one on, I found that the included wrench was too small, but a 5 16 socket did the trick. Once you've tightened and have a snug fit, reverse the disassembly and you should be done. Just remember that you'll have to update your extruder nozzle settings in your slicer to 0.6 millimeters from the stock 0.4. Next we'll tackle the extruder mechanism. The plastic one that comes with the printer is okay, but for longer wear and tear, why not upgrade to the metal one? Disassembly of the old one focuses on removing and getting to the four screws that attach to the stepper motor. Once you've got the old one disassembled, the new one goes back in reverse. If your brass gear is friction fit to the extruder motor and doesn't have a set screw, feel free to use the one existing versus putting on a new one. Once you're done, make sure the filament can move freely through and if not, adjust the screw attached to the tension arm to give it more play. Now, let's move over to the filament tube. For the filament tube, we are using the PTFE tube from Capricorn. This material has minimal friction and has become a staple of initial upgrades for Bowden style 3D printers. Remove the old one by pressing in on the fitting and pulling up or out. Use the old tube to cut the new one to size. It's important to get a clean cut and have a flat surface on the end of the tube. I use diagonal cutters here and put the factory cut side in the hot end and the diagonal cutter side in the extruder motor end. Make sure to push the tube back through the cable ties that the old one came out of and back into the friction fittings. Ensure that it goes all the way down in the case of the extruder nozzle, otherwise clogs can form in the hot end. Once you're in both sides, push some filament through to make sure it moves freely. Now let's move on and add some more rigid springs. The springs that came with the printer are a bit on the lighter side, and while they work fine, having more rigid springs will help keep the bed level over a longer period of time. Start by loosening all four of the spring tension knobs and taking the bed off. Remove the old springs and then place the new springs in their place. Carefully align the bed and put it back down through the springs. Because the cabling for the bed thermistor and heater are in the back left corner, it's a little bit tougher to get this last one seated. Make sure to apply enough pressure to get the spring through and re-add the tension knobs. You'll need to re-level the bed once you've added these and the next upgrade. The last upgrade is pretty straightforward. We're going to change out the default bed to a PEI flexible build system from Wham Bam. First we'll remove the factory bed and magnet, and then carefully apply the Wham Bam magnet and finally place the PEI bed on top. Remove the protective screen and you're all done. All right, we've hoped you enjoyed these upgrades to this Ender 3 Pro. Make sure to check out the description below for all the links to the parts that you can find at microcenter.com and in your local Micro Center store. 
please leave a comment below to tell us about your favorite 3D printer upgrade. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, follow us on our other social media channels. And as always, I'm Andy, and this is the Maker Lab at Micro Center.